Hey guys, so welcome back to Amori. Let's carry on where we left off. We've made it to the Pink Castle at long last after our little detour to Orange Oasis via the train. Uh, we're here to see Sweetheart perform, front row seats of course, but to get here we had to go through a graveyard of sprout moles up top. Uh, don't quite know what that was all about. That creature kind of annihilated a bunch of them, but then there are still some down here in this uh, fancy schmancy dungeon of sorts, so I guess we need to get the 411 before we go watch the show. It looks like Sweetheart's based off uh, the candy store lady, which makes sense. Sweet. Fidget, fidget, fidget. Hush, hush, hush. Okay, well, he's not telling us what on earth happened. That's fine, we'll go up here. Oh, we got a side quest. Hey, you there. You creatures seem like well-seasoned travelers. Okay, now what do you mean by that? Do you mean like, you know, we've been around the world, we've seen some stuff, or do you mean well-seasoned as in, we'd be tasty? I don't quite know. Do sprout moles eat humans? Not sure. Do they eat their own kind? Maybe. We were referred to as the most definitely normal sprout moles when we handed our VIP tickets to the booth. Uh, could you help me out? My brother lives in the sprout mole colony in Otherworld. I want to send him a care package, but I'm afraid of getting lost. Would you be able to deliver this for me? Oh, you, know, you don't have to worry about getting lost, brother mole. Pluto's space line will take you directly to your destination without too much trouble. It's the only problem is there's no seatbelts and, well, uh, a lot of your kind is dead up there. You probably shouldn't poke your head out, even though I did kill the creature responsible for that genocide. Yes, I'll deliver the care package. Thank you, strange creatures. I'm sure you'll appreciate it. Here you go. You got a care package. All right, well, make sure it gets to him safely. I suppose he's not wrong. Like, the only humans here are us four. Um, Mari and Basil, of course. I hate Mondays. We sprout moles do not dare leave the colony ever since the Great Move. It was a hard time. Many of us didn't make it. The sprout moles were getting lost left and right. Children were separated from their families. Oh, the horror! I mean, at least it's all okay now. For the most part. Okay, if you say so. I suppose, uh, he'll live in ignorance. Not daring to show himself uh, topside. Okay, down here. Wow, that sprout mole needs a haircut of sorts. Hello. This wall is nice and cold. <sighs> guess like uh, guess you're misbehaving in class. We've got a literal dunce cap. Hey, look at this cool thing I drew. Oh, jeez. Flashback. <laughs> School flashback. Yep. I don't even know how that came about, to be honest. I don't even know what's so special about it. Do, do you think we'll all still be friends after we graduate? Maybe. For a time. But you'll slowly drift away, student mole. And you'll find yourself alone. Unless you find a partner. And, uh... Or, if you've got family. Otherwise... Yeah. Uh... Enjoy it while it lasts, student mole. <laughs> Despite all my... Rage. I'm still just a mole in a cage. Hmm. Is this, uh, English class? I have no idea what I'm doing! <laughs> Great. Well, what's on the blackboard? Mumbo Jumbo. Is it literally the word? I don't know. Hmm. This room's occupied! Cannot be disturbed right now. No humans allowed! This room is for sprout moles only. Oh. Okay. What gave you, uh, that impression? We are two! Oh, jeez, you fooled me. We are one. We are twan. Or tuan? Not quite sure how we pronounce that. How dare you speak such blasphemy! It is my only common knowledge that tofu is better when served hot. Are you mad? Any sprout mole with decent senses knows that tofu is better when served cold, you fucking donkey! You stupid donut! Hey, there's no need to fight. Sorry. <laughs> Hero is talking to me for He's lecturing me about my terrible, piss poor Gordon Ramsay impression. Why don't you two come to a compromise? Who knows? Maybe you're both right. Or maybe you can cook tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere between hot and cold, like. I don't know. Warm? L -l Lukewarm? Ew! Lukewarm tofu. That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Even cold tofu sounds better than that. Lukewarm tofu? I want to throw up. Even hot tofu is better than that. Well, I suppose we found a way to unify them. 
Ah, yes, welcome. You must be here to learn about the best culinary feats in sliced bread. Tofu! Uh, sure, why not? Give me four of them. I need to make a deal with a guy in, uh, uh Orange Oasis. C'est magnifique. Here's your tofu trivia for the day. Soft tofu is best prepared raw or drained. It's best for desserts, smoothies, dips, and sauces. If you wish to know more about the amazing and majestic tofu, feel free to talk to me again. Ho ho! Uh, yeah, I'd like to learn a little bit more. Silken tofu is creamy. It can be used for baking, dressings, sauces, smoothies, and desserts. Wow, looks like it can be used for the same thing. <laughs> okay. I uh, don't want to know what you're cooking there, Hannibal Lecter. Okay, let's, uh, let's go further down. Actually, no, let's go up here. Tofu. Jeez. These guys are obsessed. Hello, sir or madam. Would you be interested in purchasing some fine tofu? It will cost you exactly one clam. Uh, yeah, it's a deal. It's a steal! Thank you for your patronage. You got tofu. I uh, could use a couple more, actually. Alright, ten tofu squished in my pants. I need to take that back to Orange Oasis at some point. Never hurts to have tofu on you at all times. I know I've gotten out of plenty of sticky situations with tofu. Really? Is that uh, foreshadowing, maybe? Or just <laughs> just a random tidbit? Look at me! I am truly the most beautiful sprout mole, am I not? Y yeah, I suppose. You do stand out. Very unique. Okay, down here. Lucky I conquered my fear of heights. Oh no, oh no! Swish, swish, swish. Uh, okay. Alright. Squawk? Bird mole. <laughs> Keep it up. Uh, how do you even throw the ball onto the basket? You don't have any arms. <sighs> Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Um, it was too tired, of course. God damn it. <laughs> Excellent. You recorded the joke in your joke book. Yes. Tell that to that uh, sobbing maiden. Ah, winter. Maybe snowing outside, but winter is time for friends and family. Cuddling next to a warm fire, sharing stories, sipping on hot cocoa, and most importantly, taking a breather after a long year. Winter is the best season, don't you agree? No, summer. <laughs> Ow. This does not bring me joy. <laughs> Sorry, I'll bring you joy. I'll bring you bleeding joy, okay? Yes, it's the best. Indeed! Winter is the best season. Your agreement brings me great joy. Please have this gift. Winter is the season of giving, after all. You got a scarf. I knew you'd offer me something. Winter sympathizer. Just know that I was faking it. <laughs> I see that you have tossed your favor in the way of winter. You will receive no gifts from me. No! I didn't realize! Ah! Uh, I got bamboozled. Just know, Summer, that I was only pretending, okay? I promise. Man, there is a lot going on down here. Oh, jeez. It's uh, Planet Fitness down here. Faster, man! We must push ourselves to the limit and strive for a better tomorrow. Hmm. Another floating mirror. I wonder what the significance of that is. Because there are a lot of them. <laughs> I guess they're all gonna be huffing and puffing. A very large, happy outlet. Is it because of the pareidolia? <laughs> Just like it's got two eyes and a mouth. Alright. Is this the dressing room, maybe? Gra! The humble abode of Rosa. Gra, gra! The number one sweetheart fan in the world. Oh, she's number one. Okay, okay, okay. Christmas time. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. So why not just celebrate Christmas all the time? If my wife had her way, that's what would happen. Do I want to cut the Christmas tree to get to the watermelon? I don't have the heart to do it. I do not have the heart. Even though there's a watermelon there, I cannot. Okay? I've already let one sprout mole down. Actually, three. I let myself down. Okay? Sorry. There's one more spot I missed. It's so hard to get a good night's sleep lately. If only I had something to make the experience of sleeping more comfortable. Like a bed? Uh, sure. Maybe I can secure you one. I don't know how, though. Do I want to cut the wire? Uh, not right now. Don't want to sit off the bomb. I'm working on revolutionary technology that will change all the life in the colony. Nay, the world. Okay, what are you working on? Hey, God! Careful, child! 
You could have ruined an incredibly delicate concoction. If the measurements for this experiment are not 110% accurate, the chemical reaction may cause an explosion with enough force to destroy this entire village. Uh, if it's 110% accurate, uh, I'm gonna be kind of concerned. How? Oh. How? Okay, fine. Be like that. Bunch of books. But all the pages are glued shut. Uh oh. What kind of books are they? Not adult ones, I hope. Oh, what do we have down here? Quite an abomination. Can we beat it? Can we fight it? There's the root, there's a king carnivore, and there's another root. Let's uh, get rid of the roots first, shall we? Something tells me I need to attack that first. Oh, happy gas. All right, looks like we can actually attack the main king carnivore here, but um, doesn't look like we're doing much damage to any of these things, even though we had some crits. It's kind of concerning. Let's just keep it up. Uh, maybe if we take down a root, uh, it'll get weaker. Damn, it healed. And it's absorbed nutrients. Okay, this fight's a bust. Let's go. There must be something we need to do. Like, uh, maybe that anvil that's hanging above it? Hmm. So that's what the wire does. Okay, now I'm keen. Haha! Always good to at least know what something does before you do it. Charming. Okay, let's go gather our spoils of victory. Unless it comes back to life. Nope. Orange juice. Combo meal. And a life jam. Perfect. Sorry, King Carnivore. You've just been slain. You've just been overthrown. Welcome to my coup d'etat of the Sprout Mole Colony. Well, let's get this show on the road. We've come all this way. We've stolen the tickets. We might as well watch. Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. What on earth is that noise? Is that everyone mumbling here in the audience? Or is Sweetheart rewinding her mixtape or something? Her lip sync track? Oh, we can move. Okay. Well, there's four empty seats at the very front. Wow, look at this huge stage. It's just as amazing as I imagined. Let's take our seats. It looks like the show's about to start. I don't know if there are our seats, per se. Uh, are you ready to take your front row seats? Actually, you know what? Not right now. Let me uh, speak with the crowd, get the general vibe of the area. The current vibe I'm getting is it's very pink. Sweetheart is perfect. She makes no mistakes. Okay, well, there you go. It's a cult, I tell you. Sweetheart, sweetheart, she's the only one for me. Right. My love for Sweetheart knows no bounds. Sweetheart, she is a goddess walking amongst us. We are so blessed. Yep, they're definitely drinking the life jam over here. I hear there used to be a library here, but then Sweetheart built her stage over it. Who needs to read when you have Sweetheart? Uh, well, I'm sure she'll need to read a script or some lyrics. I gave up my entire supply of tofu for this seat. Wow, okay, well, shit. We know how much they value their tofu. So that's quite a lot. Um, the guys who were supposed to sit here actually gave up their tickets to us. Let's take their seats. All right, here we go. Man, we stick out. <laughs> Me especially. Shh, shh. Cell phone's off, guys. <laughs> Ladies and gentle moles, welcome to a special edition. A special episode, sorry. I spent all this time rehearsing and I've already forgotten the script. Of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. <laughs> yeah, I'm pumped. Before our show, we wanted to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved leader, Ye old Sprout. Oh. Oh, he was truly the father that none of us deserved. Um, well, hopefully, nobody recognizes his killers. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. <coughs> Just don't say anything, guys. May he rest in peace. Is that what's going to cause everything to go haywire? And now, on to the show! Oh, here we go. What in the hell is that? Oh, hang on. Wait, no, never mind. 
I'm guessing those are some glasses uh, in the middle of those pigtails, and then her face is actually below that. For a second, I thought I was looking at Medusa or something. Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time, we've rounded up three new very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now. Okay. Contestant number one is a local of Sprout Bowl Village. He's coming in at three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. He's a dime a dozen Sprout Mall, apparently. He has a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for contestant number one! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thought no one was gonna clap for a second. Contestant number two is, yep, you guessed it. Also a local of Sprout Mole Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at three feet and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. How the hell do they crawl without any arms? Uh, forget the hot mic. His favorite color combination is brown and green. And he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Mmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant number two! There we go, a bit more delayed this time as well. Hmm, I'm sensing a bit of bias here. Is there anyone from any other place in the world? And now for something completely different. Oh, I've, I've got my hopes up. Let's see. Contestant number three comes all the way from Otherworld. Oh, wow! It's like he just fell out of the sky. Literally! According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snaily! Wow. Scattered applause from the foreigner. And now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most pulchritudinous face. Damn that went a lot better during dress rehearsal. Yes! You know who we're talking about. She's all that is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot on this very stage. Please, give a big, warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent sweetheart! Oh. Oh my, what the hell just happened? <gasps> it's an... Oh! <gasps> there was an assassination! Someone's rigged the game. I thought for a second that uh, Snaily was actually some sort of evil demon, but no. Oh no, there's a blackout. Damn, the knives are out already in this bachelor contest. Now what do we do? I have to know what happens next. Oh, I guess we can't see the fact that one of the contestants is literally vaporized. Uh, let's wait it out. I'm sure the sprout moles will get the power back on in no time. Help, we don't know what to do. Help! We don't know what to do either! Help! 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 Oh no, they're spinning. That means a class one emergency. Well, well shit. <laughs> uh, maybe we should look around just in case. Damn. Not even a pile of ashes left behind. Uh, I guess the contestants don't want to speak to us. Help! Damn. Okay, well, I guess we can't uh, count on the host either. He's got his sunglasses on. Uh, no variation in the dialogue with these guys, I guess. This is just normal? Wow. I guess the blackout affected all of Sprout Mole Village, too. Hero, what do we do now? Oh, don't worry, Aubrey. This is where my handyman expertise comes into play. In cases like this, we should probably be looking for uh, some kind of backup generator. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and solve the Sprout Mole's problems, because we are Sprout Moles. At least that's what the ticket guy said. I'm thinking it's going to be where we killed that uh, King Carnivore, since we had to cut the wire on that anvil to get past him. Let's have a look. Hello, oh, sorry there. Doesn't look like anything's different over here, sorry. Well, at least we can scoop up some of his nutrients, if there's anything left. Pick up the pace, boys! We must make haste! 
Oh, yes, of course. There was a power switch or a power point here, sorry, uh, at the very end of this hole. So are these guys the generators? Like, they're powering it through their um, use of the exercise machines. We're trying our best, Warden. This is as fast as we could go. Why isn't this working? Uh, I feel sick. Okay. Just keep running, moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. Okay. Faster, men! We must push ourselves to the limit and strive for a brighter tomorrow. Yeah, because it's quite dim right now. We should probably help with that. Yep, there we go. It's disconnected. This wire isn't plugged into the outlet. Plug it in. Yeah. Let there be light. I guess that's the indication that the lights are back on. Ah, oh, there we are. <laughs> a little bit brighter. What I say, moles? Hard work pays off. Now keep on running. <sighs> okay. Well, fine. You know what? Let the warden take the credit. Looks like we can use the exercise machines. I swear these four weren't here before. You want to exercise with your friends? Yes. Why not? Keep fit, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at Kel. Powering through. It's going really fast. Uh, is Hero walking back there? Oh, God. He was walking so slowly, he fell off. I'm not doing off bad. I'm actually keeping pace with uh, Aubrey over there. All right, let's cut here some slack. Don't want to embarrass him too much. It's because we're younger than him. We've got a lot more of that youthful energy, you know? Okay, uh, I guess we're good to go back to the show then. Are we going to have like a murder mystery or something? We're going to have to find out who killed Snaily. Someone, please help me. I'm in need of a handsome young gentleman. You, yes. I, uh, not to make assumptions or anything. I'm just, you know, it's a mustache mole with a bow tie on, uh, with a, with a bow on top. Sorry, not a bow tie. <laughs> you there in the striped pants. You magnificent beast. Yes, oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, you look like you'll do just fine. We'll just go with a neutral voice, shall we? Uh-huh. Wow, uh, why, thank you. I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir, will you help out a poor, lowly mole? I am desperately in need of your service. Well, since you asked so nicely, how can I refuse? I'm guessing this is like the director or something of this uh, Bachelor production. And they're gonna need a third contestant now. Thank you. Thank you, young lad. You are too generous. Please, come this way now. Chop chop. Wait, hold on. C can my friends come too? Ah, yes, your friends. You are all here to see Sweetheart's Quest, yes? Big fans. Big fans. I mean, that's why we're sitting at the front row, obviously. If so, you will all meet again soon enough. Now come, sir. We must make haste. Time is short. What's that supposed to mean? We'll meet soon enough. Well, yeah, I guess so. Once, uh, well, unless Hero gets married off or something, Hero left the party. Damn it, that was just us three. Do you have to go back and get Burly or something? Hmm. Well, three's a crowd. Should be fine. Alright, we're, well, we'll be rooting for Hero, I suppose. Let's take our seats. <laughs> uh, re-roll the cameras. Let's edit the part out where Snaily died. Are we not gonna go over that, I guess? Probably swept under the rug, quite literally. <laughs> Greetings, sweetheart fans. We're at, we apologize for the short intermission. Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program. During the break, we regret to inform you that a tragic accident has occurred right here on this very stage. Oh god, now we're holding a memorial service for Snaily. It is at this time we announce the sudden loss of contestant number three. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds that we got to know him. He was truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. So that's why we've got a new contestant number three, and he's coming right up. Well, and just like that. But the show must go on! Of course, I don't know if any tears were shed. There's that ridiculous billboard coming right back down. Please give a warm welcome to our new contestant, number three. Hailing all the way from the vast forest. It's our hero in shining armor. Oh, God. I like how the audience took uh, his name from that sentence. And I like how he actually got more applause than Snaily ever did. Get this, guys. Hero's a real hunk, standing at a whopping five foot seven inches. 
His passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning. And if that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. <laughs> Damn, he's shivering. Poor guy. And now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most pull cried to do in his face. I told him to scratch this off the script, but apparently not. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She is all that is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot on this very stage. She's the one, the only, the magnificent... <laughs> oh, it's it's her. It's her. It's the, it's the girl. And yeah, she's certainly based off the, um... The candy store lady. <laughs> An excellent entrance, my liege. So good. I mean, the curtains rose and everything. It was unpredictable. Ah, yes. It is me. Hello, my stupid, adoring fans. We love you, sweetheart. Yeah, you're the best. Stupid, adoring fans. <laughs> Sweetheart, we have brought three of the best bachelors in the world onto this stage. This is all we could find across the entirety of the world. Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? It's the Phantom Thieves. Let's start with some questions. One thing that Sweetheart values most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. I am not surprised. Do you, contestant number one, agree? to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life. Contestant number one, what is your answer? Uh, sure. I don't know. I guess. <laughs> uh, playing hard to get, I see. What do you think about that response, Sweetheart? Not obedient enough. Oh god, is he gonna get punished? Is he gonna get lightning bolted? Hmm, just three feet tall. My, that is much too short. Send him off to the dungeon. Uh, hey, uh, wh what did you say? The dungeon? Uh-oh. Oh no, yep, this is one of those shows. I should have known. If Hero's not nervous now, he will be. Help me! And he's gone. Now on to contestant number two. Uh, we ask you the same question. There's no right or wrong answer. Just answer truthfully. Uh, but because truthfully, there is a right answer. Contestant number two, will you pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, uh, uh, sure. If that means I won't get sent to the dungeon. Oh no, no, not committed enough. My word, this one. His very being offends me. Take him away, boys. Oh, just like that. Oh, yeah, make your... Run! Run, Spramo, run! No! Contestant number three, it looks like you're the last one standing. I'd love to say you won by default, but I think I'm going to have to ask you that question anyway. Yeah, I thought so. I'll ask the same question one more time. Again, no pressure. No pressure at all. Is that a wet patch in your pants? Do you, hero, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Say yes, say yes. Say yes. Yes. Y-E-S. Yes. Nod your head. Yes, that's the one. Hero, say yes! I'm calling from the crowd. Well, no, that doesn't seem fair at all. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Why would I do that? <laughs> My. This one. He's absolutely immaculate. Could it be? Is Sweetheart in love? Uh-oh, it's happening. Oh, what an exciting turn of events! This must be fate, a match made in heaven. Wait, but uh, I just said... Uh, yes, yes, you'll do just fine. Now, what was your name again? Uh-huh. Slave, I guess? <laughs> it's, uh... It's Hero, ma'am. Hero? My Hero? We must go to my chambers at once. Please, I need heroic children. 
guards, I've chosen my suitor. Take him away to the love lounge. <laughs> Guys, uh, please do something. Whoa, hero's gonna marry sweetheart? Way to just fly over, <laughs> way to let it fly over your head, Cal. I didn't see that one coming at all. Cal, what are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do about it? I don't, I don't want to go to the dungeon. Oh, Kel, you're so useless. Hero, you have to reject, sweetheart. It's time, Hero. Your princess awaits. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't think she's going to listen to me. Just do it already. Okay, I'll try. Go ahead. Decline, sweetheart. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, that's right. Stand up for yourself, hero. Excuse me. A sweetheart. I'm just calling you by your name. It's not a term of endearment whatsoever. Uh, so, in fact, you know what? I'm gonna call you ma'am. Ah, yes, my lovely hero. How I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again. Wow. Well, <laughs> uh, so, so nice of you. I mean... <sighs> Why do I have to do this? Uh, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Why? Whatever do you mean, my prince? I... Uh, this is all really, really flattering and all, but, you know, we only just met, like, like a few moments ago, and, well... I have to reject your, uh, proposal? Offer? I mean, your offer? Oh, pish posh, don't be silly, hero. I've never heard anything sillier. I feel like she's giving him multiple chances to recant what he's saying. I don't think she's this aloof. Surely. It... It's true. Uh, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but... I... Don't... Want... To marry you. Oh, now he's done it. Her eyes have vanished. That is a lot of dots. This? This is preposterous. No. This? This is blasphemy! You dare reject Sweetheart? Everyone loves Sweetheart, you hear me? Everyone! Send him off to the dungeon! Oh, now he's done it. Hey, stop right there! You can't take Hero, he belongs to us. He's our property, not yours, sweetheart. What's this now? What is a non-sweetheart fan doing in the audience? In the front row, no less. Oh, these are clearly thieves. Ah, I see. You must be Hero's fans. The nerve of you lot. First, you make a fool out of me. Then, you interrupt me during my own show? She's pacing. I'm the one who makes the rules around here. Guards, take them away. Oh, oh god, they're everywhere. They were hiding in the plants. Oh, now you've done it, Aubrey. Great. Just great. Well, shit. That's a relevant curse, because we don't have a toilet in this cell. <laughs> oh man. Now we're all stuck in the dungeon. Sorry, guys. Eh, it's my fault that we're all in this mess. Hey, it's not your fault, man. You were forced to go on stage. No, it's not, Hero. No one could have predicted that would happen. I mean, I had an inkling. <laughs> oh, damn, sweetheart, coming all the way down here? Oh. Oh, it's the mustache mole. Oh, wait, what? You fools! Don't you recognize me? It's me! <gasps> Rosa. Oh my god! I should have known! I went into your damn room! Oh, that bow! <sighs> it's a very distinctive bow. Rosa, the number one sweetheart fan in the world! And I got her confused with that other one that was the number two fan. She was in that building. I told you that you'd all pay for crossing me. Curses! We've been bamboozled! I should have known you were behind this, Rosa. It's true what they say. Revenge is sweet. Actually, it's also best served cold, so 
Uh, yeah. Now rot, you peons. Rot in the dungeon forever. <laughs> we'll get you, Rosa! Dang it, how are we ever gonna get out of here? We'll find a way. Come on, guys, let's think about this. Well, where do we even start? It's not like they just leave the gate unlocked. What would they? Uh, I mean... Let's give it a shot. If there are sprout moles usually kept in here... Oh, I think that's a guard. I mean, it is a guard, but I think it's a hostile guard. Ah, it does open. Okay. Uh, yeah. If we're used to carrying sprout moles in here, then maybe the lock is just, like, five feet off the ground. Seems like a job for Aubrey. Just as I get prodded by a sword. Whoa. What do we have here? We've got Harold! Take him down. Alright, apparently this is a job for Aubrey. Yeah! Yeah, vandalism! Getting tofu? This is a real prison break now. Anyone need to use the toilet? Yes, we can come in here. You got... I got ramen. Okay. Well, that's concerning. Is this anything? It is. A trap door. That leads... Okay, we can't go over there. Can we come down here? Oh, Mari! How the hell did you set up a picnic down here? Hey, it's Mari! 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 Help us! We're stuck in the dungeon! Oh, no. Oh, just like that. There you go. Now come here and enjoy a nice picnic with me. I promise you'll feel better right away. But, but how did you... Okay, you know what? We don't ask anymore, okay? We just bash the vases, get more tofu. Alright. Uh, hey gang, seems like you're all stuck in a little pickle, so I stuck in some pickles. Aw, <laughs> oh, yuck. I hate pickles. Next time, can you sneak in some jam instead? <laughs> Jeez, what a beggar. You want to have a picnic with your friends? Let's do it. Hero, I have a question for you. Was there any chance in the world that you would have said yes to marrying Sweetheart? What? No way! I would have said yes to you though, Mari, because you're my girlfriend. Right? Totally. You know I only have eyes for you, Mari. Oh damn, look at that portrait! I knew he'd- I didn't realize he'd actually outright say this. Ew! <laughs> Ew is right, Kel. Wow, okay, jeez, way to freaking kick him while he's down. Hero, that's not what I like about you at all. What? It's not? Well, then what is it? I can't tell you that, silly. You have to read my mind. That's what you're supposed to do in the pursuit of a hot date. It would ruin the magic. Exactly. Put in some effort, boy. Okay. I don't really get it. But whatever you say. <laughs> you don't really get it because she's playing hard to get. Mari, you don't have to worry about Sweetheart at all. Sweetheart is the worst. I can't imagine anyone being in love with her. Wasn't she with Captain Spaceboy, though? Yeah, and look how that turned out. Huh. Relationships like that are just hollow. You can't compare it to the real deal. Like what me and Amori have. Isn't that right, Amori? Amori? Quickly! My cheeks are hurting. I'm still smiling and you're not smiling back. You're just winking at me. I'll take that as a flirt. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess those uh, heart-shaped buttons on the wall control the spikes. Can't use that one, of course. A couple of ladders here and there. I guess we need to deactivate them as we go. Where the hell are we? Uh, maybe we'll lead with, um... We'll lead with Aubrey, because there's quite a few things we can smash, I suppose. Are you the tofu guy? I got sent to the dungeon for smuggling. Old habits die hard. That said, I've got some choice goods for sale, patron. Interested in buying? Oh, yeah, sure. Do you have a shiv? A shank? Oh, of course. You've got tofu. <laughs> got life jam as well. I got ten life jam. Jeez. Could use uh, a couple of poetry books to inflict sadness. Thank you. Uh, I don't have any tasty soda. I've been banking clams for no reason, so... Let's splurge a bit. Nope, no more tofu. Oh. That one's got an axe. Snuck. Past it. See a heart-shaped button? I think we're gonna have to fight. More tofu. Two times tofu. 
Jeez, I didn't even need to buy it in the first place. Yep. I was just waiting. Is that taped to it? I suppose it has to be because they don't have arms. Marsha! Okay, what's in here? I think I saw some sprout moles. Ah, uh, this must be contestants one and two. Oh no, what are we gonna do? No one ever escapes the dungeon. Oh, you both said the same thing. Uh, I've just opened the door for you, right? I don't know what happened to this guy. It is not alive. <laughs> Great. Okay, we're in this back section. Can't activate that switch, which is interesting. Because this doesn't seem to le lead anywhere unless that um, leads to another section of the map. Uh, oh, who are you? That's not Rosa. Huzzah! After countless failures, I've almost finally made my escape. All I need to do now is find the exit. Okay, but can we press that button, please? Or can you press that button? This looks like a job for Kel. Yes, of course. He's the one who throws things. Alright, go for it, my friend. Oh, well played. Ah. Alright. Unlocked a couple more... Uh, spikes. I think this is where we started off, because we don't go down here to go to Mari. Uh, can we smash these again? Will there be anything this time? Oh, more tofu. Okay, there you go. Um, that's blocked off. What about over here? Admittedly, I haven't really fully explored topside just yet, but I suppose we'll... We'll get there soon. There's a ladder, but I see another switch that Cal can use. Let's go ahead and make use of it. Ah, okay. Of course, for some reason I made assumptions that those switches were for the spikes that were right beside it. Uh, we could go all the way back, but what's up this ladder, actually? Let's have a look. Another cell. More ramen. I've been stuck down here so long. I feel like I can barely move a muscle. The bones are talking to me. Eh? What's that face for? <laughs> it's shock. I see a key. Let's switch to Amori. Apparently that's what we need to do to make it uh, become corporeal. Alright, we've unlocked that. Let's go, let's go. Sorry, kind of need to- I need to smash. I need to Aubrey smash things. Even if all I get is freaking tofu, we will smash all the vases we can find. And Harold as well. At the same time, letter I. Hmm. Is it being added to my hangman puzzle or is it a discarded letter? Uh, we won't find out for some time now. I don't know when we're going back to white space. Gra! Uh, forward a special hell for you, my dear. Gra, gra! Signed SWH. Is guessing sweetheart. Okay, uh, so that's a special hell. Looks like there's a ladder leading into that cell. Uh, we'll need Kel for this. Okay, looks like we're going to hell. Fantastic. Thanks, Kel, for giving us access to the hottest place on Earth, even though I don't think we're on Earth right now. See Captain Space Boy, his uh, eyes have been gouged out, at least in the painting. So there's that. All right. Um. Hmm. Nourishment. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Is that the mixtape of vanity? But the mirror makes you look especially unflattering. A telescope, but the lens is covered with tape. A bunch of books. All the pages are glued shut. Cardboard boxes, for no other reason than to take up space. Okay. Uh, well, jeez. I can see why she's sealed that room away. Alright, back to this button. Let's see what it does. Okay. Oh. Jeez. Right, well that's an interesting button. What the hell was that all about? It literally just killed someone. Instead of, uh, taking care of spikes. There we are. The big red spikes are down. Let's move along. That prisoner was one day away from retirement. No, escape. Retirement from the, uh, <laughs> from the prison. 
There's so much freaking tofu here, honestly. Where does that go? It goes here. All right. That unlocks that. Let's bash some more of Sweetheart's things. Ooh, 30 clams. Something different. Hmm. Look there! We're finally at the exit! Whoa! Freedom at last! Let's get out of here. I never want to see another Sprout Mole again in my life. <laughs> oh, poor Sprout Moles. Uh, Sweetheart's Castle. Oh, are we cordially invited? Damn. Oh, wow, that is tacky. <laughs> the dungeon. Halt, prisoners! Did you really think you could escape that easily? It's back to the dungeon for you four. I feel like I'm in Kamashita's castle. Darn, and we were so close, too. Uh-oh, what do we do now? Think, hero. Think. Come on, how do we get out of this? Say you've uh, changed your mind, hero. You want to get back together with Sweetheart. Oh, I got it! Uh, what? Are you wearing the husk of a corpse? <clears throat> uh, on the contrary, Sir Knight, I think you have mistaken us for someone else. Hmm, yes. <clears throat> uh, don't be so quick to judge. We are sprout moles, indubitably. Oh, indeed. Ah, uh, yes, quite indubitably. I am also a lover of tofu and sweetheart. Hmm, delicious sweetheart, I mean, uh, uh, delicious tofu. God, my my eyes must have deceived me. I apologize, brethren. It is rather hard to see through this helmet. Very well, carry on then. I will resume my patrol. You lot ought to return to your stations as well, lest our dear sweetheart notices. Well, at least Amori's finally got some color. <laughs> How's that for some quick thinking? That was so smooth, hero. With these Sproutwell masks, we'll be able to make it out of here in a cinch. Do we really have to keep wearing these, hero? Mine's getting kind of itchy. Yeah, Cal. We should keep them on until we get out of here. Come on, let's move. Alright, well, I don't suspect that uh, Mari will have a picnic in the middle of a castle, will she? Damn, this place is massive. Okay, uh, well, let's let's do the grand tour as, uh, you know, sprout moles with human forms. We are quite the evolution. <laughs> 